Hello people. Just a quick tip for you. If you are building and you have to cut some EPS or Styrox like this, you know it's not fun to do with a saw. You get all of this stuff all around. It's very messy and very slow. I got very bored doing that too. So I made a little tool. I think I just saw a mice. So the tool is right here. I have a table and I made it a little smoother by screwing a drywall board on it. And then I've got a piece of 2.5 mm TIG welding wire for my TIG welder. Uh, it's just an ordinary steel wire, no stainless. And then I've got it hooked on the table like this. One end goes here and one goes right here. I know this is a very crude system. I made it in maybe half an hour, but as you can see it works quite well. So, I have the wire on the table, going through the table, and this is the part that does the cutting. And, as you can see, I have hooked it up on my stick welder, my little 145 stick welder. And I have the amperage set at about 50 amps, which is as low as this thing will go. So the idea is that the current goes through the wire, and heats it up and the hot wire will cut the EPS. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna switch it on now and let's do a little test piece to see it takes takes some seconds for it to warm up. Here we start to go. It's still a little slow. Here we have it. That's a pretty clean cut. But the really cool thing about this is when I attach a piece of wood on the table, I can use it as a guide to cut bigger pieces like this. Let's see. It goes pretty easily. The wire still isn't hot enough. But it still cuts. I think I might have to up the amperage a little bit. The wire is getting blue, but not red. I don't know how hot it is. Maybe a couple of hundred degrees Celsius. Could you do a cut like this, as straight as this, on a saw? I think this is one of the most nice working little tools that I have ever made. With just a table, some scrap wood, welding wire and an old stick welder. Definitely a thumb up for this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.